It's Super Starcraft Bros. Platinum Thursday. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Core Hall Compound. Yep. Another game sent in by a fan. JC Fish. Uh, you guys might formally recognize him from our older replays, Johnny Boy Three Two One. Yep. 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 Who's he going against this time, Iron Sparks? Malakar. Sounds evil. Yes. Uh, it kind of sounds like you know, a little thing from uh, Wind Waker. What little thing? That would that were around the Deku tree. The little, like, tiny tree things? Yeah, with the leaf faces. Oh, okay. Sounds like it'd be one of those. Oh, all right. I haven't played that game in a while. Did you ever beat it? Wind Waker? Yeah. I beat Wind Waker. I'm proud of you. Yeah, that's when you do that one thing at the end. I didn't awesome. want to say it because it would ruin it for anybody who hasn't played it yet. That listens to the cast. But it, the game's been out for a while. I think you can spoil it pretty without worry. Still, I mean, it's like telling someone what he meant at the end of Citizen Kane when he said Rosebud. What? You're not old enough. All right, Malakar is scouting out, and what's going on back at JC Fish? He is Expe nope. scouting out. Scouting out. All right. So, so cool. uh, Corhal Compound, uh, if, like we were talking about before, was from Season 7. 6. Was it Season 6? It was added in Season 6. All right. Season 6. Uh, actually, Corhal Compound and uh, what was the other map? Cloud Kingdom were both added into both uh, fan-made maps. Um, and it looks like on this map we have a very bizarre proxy two racks. Yeah. Which, uh, did you catch any of the videos from the Lag TV, uh... The tournament? Cheese tournament? No, I didn't watch any of them. I did catch a couple, and they, they had all their, uh, uh, contestants play random, and they kept getting Terran. Mm -hmm. So they would all two racks proxy. Because that seems to be the only cheese Terran has. Well, you can't really bunker rush a Zurich, so... Yes, you can! You go in with a broom, and a mop, and you push the creep away. I'm sure that's very effective. You know what's amazing? Creep is not flammable. It doesn't get taken out by a nuclear blast. Only what is that stuff made out of? Creep. But what's it made out of? Creep. Do you think that's where creepers come from? Do you think that when creepers die, they go to a land field with creep? Maybe. I thought creepers came from a coding book. I was thinking mythologically. <laughs> Alright, we have a roach worm going down for JC Fish. And, and uh, uh, has he seen those two racks yet? No. No, he hasn't. He has not gone down that way. Ah, uh, bummer. Though he might know something's fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Back at Malakar's base, he's threading on his supply depots, but it looks like he's... <laughs> You can't bunker rush a Zerg, eh? Well, you can't bunker rush it the same way you can do the other. This is just him containing him, preventing him from getting any expansion. Yeah, which is pretty smart, but if uh, a Zerg player does go mass roach off of one base, not going to do too much. And those Zerglings are poking their heads down going, whoa, whoa. Those Zerglings probably could get down right along here without getting hit, run across, and... And hit that wall of supply depots. Yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, and they could take him out easily. They could. Let's see, the first bunkers are loaded up for Malakar, and he has started his contain of our Red Zerg player. Um, I really don't know if he needed a third bunker. I would like to see him maybe salvage this one. Yeah, I think that one, I was just thinking about that. I think that one's sitting there because it denies the, the expansion. Uh, we do have the roaches coming out. They're doing a little bit of damage to this bunker being built, and it looks like they're going to completely ignore the containing bunker and head down south. I would like to see the zerglings up here come and finish off these bunkers before the marines can get back in them. Eh. Let me get the salvage anyway. He does salvage those two initial bunkers. That third one was able to finish, but it looks like it's going to fall down uh, via zergling hits and roach spit. Uh, the roaches that did slip through and head south are making their way down to Malakar's main. And it's unfortunate that these two proxy bunkers are still out. They were proxy relied. bunkers? Fair. Yes. Um. Oh, he's going to be able to get a ton of kills on these SCVs who have rushed the wall. It's just om-nom time for the roaches. Om-nom-nom. Om-nom-nom. 
Ob num num num. How do roaches eat? If they spit out acid constantly. It makes things easier to digest. Yeah, it's already digest before you swallow. <laughs> Um, alright, so the SCVs are holding the supply depot. JC Fish is keeping his roaches out of the, the range of that bunker, and uh, behind this, JC Fish has been able to expand. Uh, the barracks for Malakar are flying back home. Uh, do you think that proxy Turak did anything for Malakar? Uh, delayed the expansion. Um... Other than that. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the income for both players. Uh, JC Fish is sitting on 13 harvesters because he was forced to pull uh, a lot of larvae into attacking units. But Malakar is only sitting on 17 SCBs. He is building his uh, second command center right now. But he definitely was banking on that, that. I don't even know if it was a cheese. That's how far away those proxy racks were. No, it's a cheese. Alright. Uh, he was kind of banking on that to win. He keeps pulling off a ton of SCVs to repair this wall. Uh, it's just he's going into contain mode, right into turtle mode. And you know what that means. Turtle, turtle. What? what? Oh, it looks like that supply depot is finally going to go down, and the roaches are in the base now. I'll continue talking. Uh, some of the SCVs were brought up to try and repair that supply depot, but it's already gone. It looks like the roaches are going to try and dance around the marines. Uh, not too much damage to the main base of Malakar from this attack. Yeah, but he does take out most of those marines, so he'll have to rebuild them, uh, spending more resources on that. And I think by now, uh, Fish may have already caught up economically. Yep. Yeah, and it looks like... Him. These two roaches have forced the pull off of all those SCVs who start to friendly repair each other. So actually for a little attack that didn't do a lot of uh, damage to buildings, that was a big attack. It stopped mining almost completely for Malakar. Um, so we do have the uh, Overlord upgrade coming. Ooh, we might see some drops. Do you think we'll see Bane Rain or just drops? Um, well, let's just increase the movement speed, however he may go ahead and get this. and we. Oh, it looked like a misclick on those drones there. He was going to do a transfer, but accidentally clicked them, clicked them all. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think that's going to slow down fish too much. No. Let's see. Um, I really would like to see him drop some of those roaches in here, since I don't think he's going to be in towards that bangling tech, or else he would have already put down the nest. Yeah, I think sticking with the roaches will be a good, uh, a good uh, play right now for JC Fish. Uh, Malakar has kind of shown that he's more in favor of of a marine ball based army so I think that sticking with roaches will be just fine yeah, aren't marauders better against roaches I know but I don't see marauders coming out in the near future for Malakar yeah I think it would definitely have been more beneficial for him to go for those marauders especially when he sees that JC fish did go roach if he had throw down another uh, tech lab and then focus on marauder play it would have benefited him greatly but I just don't now that Malakar has gone into the turtle mode for Terran, uh, the, from what I've, I've experienced with Terran, turtling up just slows down your loss. Because you have to be able to leave your base in order to do any type of damage. You can't really bank on having their entire army come up to your base and somehow get magically taken out. I mean, we don't have siege tanks. We don't have an expansion out of Malakar, so right now we can see JC Fish uh, starving out Malakar. See, I don't understand why he built. Didn't he this... just have another one? Yeah, he has. What the hell, Malakar? What the hey? I would like to see him lift this up, uh, plop it down here, stop mining off here. <laughs> Love it. It's a fun word. And then maybe plop build... it. Maybe build plop some. It good. Also, maybe build some barracks over here to create a funnel effect. Absolutely, use that that funnel right there to create a wall, something defensive for it. He does already have the supply depots, uh, salvaging the the bunkers on the high ground and establishing a footing on that low ground would be beneficial. Awesome. However, totally too ballistically flopistical. 
even creating that funnel won't do him any good if this Midas can get in here, since he does have all this oh. unseen space up here. And that is one of my favorite things to see from Zurich, is a good old fashioned Midas love. And that's something Fish really likes to do. And here we go, again we have a army base most- Why are you doing SCVs? These SCVs had originally applied to be Marines, they were denied, sent to the SCV Corps, and now they're just frustrated as hell. Well, it looks like he was going to transfer him here, however, he did lift off. No, he wanted away. to be a little farther away from that. <laughs> did he move back? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm sick with those SCVs going, oh, we can fight, we can fight! And then him going, no, get back to work. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, we still don't, we do have siege tanks on the, mo um, on the mode. We have siege tanks on the mode! The side of ice cream. Uh, Malachor did get lucky, he had the vision because of those barracks up here for that Nidus, so he was able to get those marines up there. Yep, and one, uh, another thing that I like Jason Fish is doing right now is he sent overlords over to uh, the third, fourth, and fifth expansion spots for Malachar, and those overlords be like, Yo, what up? Blah! Oh, I had shellfish today. And uh, that'll stop any type of further expansion for Malakar. We do now have a Baneline that will be beneficial, taking out all this bio army as well as trying to break down these supply depots. Yep, and then as uh, Iron Sparks was saying, we do have a little bit of bunker support set up uh, down at the choke for the natural. Uh, I just, I think with JC Fish's heavy roach play that we should see more marauders. More as in more than one? And precisely, Iron Sparks, precisely. So we do have this command center headed over to the puked up shellfish of that overlord. Um, so we got all these roaches out. Um, do you ever drink something really hot? No. And then the first, the first time you take a sip, you're always like, what if it's too hot? What if I'm going to burn my tongue and I'm not going to be able to taste this drink for the rest of the time? No, I don't really worry about that. Oh. I drink cold drink. This must be my way. Ah, uh, let's see. These Marines are heading in to get rid of that Overlord, and that creep will slowly start to dissipate. However, it'll still take quite a while. Yeah, it's de that's probably going to slow down that base as long as Malakar slow down JC Fish with that weird bunker contained. And now we have an infestation pit and a spire on the way for... JC Pierce is fire for your fish. Yep. Uh, the scan goes up, revealing roaches moving down and yep. clean. And uh, again, Malakar, that's what he's been seeing all game, and he just it doesn't feel like he's been preparing for roaches at all. He does have those tanks now with siege mode completed, I do believe, but... They are unseaged. They're unseaged. If the roaches burrow and then get close to those tanks, they're useless. And the marines, though they do a lot of damage... Uh, clumped up like that, they just don't have the firepower to take out the heavy armored roaches. Mm -hmm. And this orbital is finally able to land, so we should see him start to, uh, to mine, saturate that. Yeah, uh, both players. Let's see. JC Fish is on three base. Malakar just set up his. They are about the same on uh, on worker counts, and incomes almost uh, almost the same. Uh, JC Fish does have a little bit more on gas, but uh, let's see. We've Burrow and Tunneling Claws for JC Fish on the way, which is going to help against those tanks, though they're not Siege, so it's not that big of a deal. However, he's just moving this creep all the way across the map, giving himself the advantage of speed rather than just rushing in. Yeah, uh, it also not only does it give him speed, but also gives him vision. Mm -hmm. Alright, it looks like Malakar is tired of waiting, and he's going to push out. Uh, he has a medvac to support this uh, Marine tank and commanding Marauder. Those dropships are not good enough for battle yet. They haven't uh, passed inspection. So they're actually going to head back and just, you know, hang out with those SEDs. <laughs> or that tank. I, I have no idea what's going on. So we do have hive, a hive tech halfway finished for fish. Um, he does have plus two for armor upgrades, and he is loading up his Nidus worm. All right, I cannot um, wait to see. Where do you think he's going to drop the Nidus? I would uh, like to see it somewhere around Do we here. have an overlord? Uh, south of the main base? Yes, we do, and there's the Nidus. Alright, the Nidus is coming up. The, and the, it's uh, unfortunate because Malakar's army is all the way up here in the sea yeah. section. I was right. gonna say that! And here we go. Alright, the Dune Sandworm-esque Nidus Worm pops out of the ground. You know what's really scary is there's buildings underneath that platform, so that means the Nidus Worm ripped through that building. Yeah. You know. And these roaches are just having a good old time. Throwing acid water balloons at the Marines. 
playing beat up the tank, saying what up to the bunkers. And of course we have a bunch of floating buildings from Terran and Second Command Center. Not as Don't important. need to save that. Nope, not as important. Uh, it does look like the Zerg Banelings. troops are going back to protect the Banelings. Uh, these roaches are going to hold the line until those big old balls of acid are finished. Uh, and let's see, it looks like they're going to jump back into the Nidus Worm. Which is a very smart move, you very rarely see it. And here come the Vine Legs! However, these tanks to the right here may take him out before they can do any significant damage. And Malakar does a smart move and he loads up his dropships with those Marines, saving them from those nice balls of aesthetic jelly. However, three out of four tanks were taken out by the tank. Yes, uh, instead of going for the Marines, they went straight for the tanks. Um, the roaches are out again, a second Nidus Worm is popping in, and the GG from Malakar. Uh, good game. Uh, I always love to see when a cheese fails and it goes into a, uh, a late game. That was very nice to see. Yeah. Alright. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you liked most about the game. Perhaps you're a Nidus fan, as, as am I, and you really like seeing a Zerg player drop some Nidus's in a game. Or uh, maybe there's something Malakar could have done differently to make his cheese a little better. Uh, leave a comment closer. down below. Huh? Built the barracks closer? No, overrated. So leave a comment down below. Maybe you agree with Iron Sparks and he should have built those proxy barracks closer. You know, he should have built them right here. That actually wouldn't have been a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. Share this video with all your friends who play StarCraft or anyone who likes eSports. And uh, check out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's videos from uh, this week. Uh, Monday was kind of an interesting one, so there's a special Master Monday for you to check out as well. And good luck and have fun on your future StarCraft endeavors. GG. GG.